Hey guys, Pondo checking in once again. Today is June 25th. I'm actually filming this um, June 27th, so it's a few days over. Um, I wanted to bring you guys another lifting video. Today I'm not in my garage gym. As you can see, I'm here in Los Angeles, California. Very, very warm, warm day here in SoCal. Um, I'm out in one of my favorite gyms um, to go to once I'm out here in Los Angeles. This place is called the Barbell Brigade. I'm not sure if you guys are very privy to, you know, social media or, you know, gyms in general, but, but this gym is pretty much one of the most popular gyms. Um, Well-known powerlifting gyms, if not Olympic weightlifting, bodybuilding. It's an all-around type of gym, but the best thing about this place that I like to do to go to is the atmosphere. Um, I like the, you know, it's it's everybody everybody definitely has a hustle in here. Everybody's here for a purpose. It feels like to me, at least. You know, I'm only here. This is my third time in here, but every time I walk into this place, it's it's something that um, I've always kind of dreamed about having. Uh, a gym of my own and this is exactly the atmosphere that I kind of want to emulate anyways um, you know when I was when I was a young lifter when I was in football and I was um, when I was a track and field athlete and all that I remember being in the weight room and you know the feeling that you would have in that type of weight room the, the hot thick air in the summer the heavy-duty fans and the um, you know the camaraderie from basically everyone else with the same goal as you to get stronger to get the better version of themselves. You know I could find that all in here. It's um, it's definitely a tangible um, feeling. You know you, you, it's it's definitely something that everybody everybody that walks in here they they can kind of they they feel a little bit more motivated. They definitely want to you know lift heavier weight. They definitely want to achieve their goals. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say that that every time I go into a place like this, it makes me feel like I want to, you know, lift. I want to bang and clang. I want to do, um, you know, I definitely want to perform. So today, um, as you can see here, I'm doing some Olympic weightlifting. Um, I just wanted to, I was in LA for a concert with a special someone. Um, so, you know, while I was waiting, I decided to hit up uh, the Barlow Brigade. Definitely every time I step uh, foot in here, they've always done something different. Um, they're always improving on their equipment. Um, last time I was here, it was about a year ago. Um, you know, they didn't have as much stuff as they had nowadays, but that's the nature of workout equipment in general. Um, there's always so many things to be improved upon, and there's always some innovators that definitely want to give you some more new workout equipment. Um, it also gives me some ideas for my garage gym. A lot of people are asking me, you know, why haven't I bought any more new equipment for my garage gym? And to be honest, if anything, I'm actually simplifying my gar my garage gym a little bit more. I realize that um, one, you know, basically good workout equipment, um, excellent workout equipment like the stuff I have in my in my gym, does not need to be replaced continuously. Um, I have a lot of decent equipment, and I feel like if you buy really good equipment, it's going to last you decades, if, if not a lifetime, if not several lifetimes. I have several pieces of my equipment that I know will outlast me, and um, definitely would survive even in a um, you know a commercial workout environment like this place, where there's just a lot of monsters and a lot of beasts that can move so much weight. So that's you know one of the reasons. Um, also. You know, in, in the equipment I have at home, there's really nothing that I really want to improve upon it. I mean, there's obviously machines and selectualized equipment that I could throw in there, but um, all in all, I have everything I need. And unless there's something that I really do want or, you know, kind of catches my eye, then I'll, then I'll make a, I'll definitely make a purchase and let you guys know my thoughts and feelings about it. Um, after I did cleans today, um, you know, I, I had an opportunity to work out with some really cool dudes there in the video. Um, I did some, you know, basically did some snatches. I didn't really, I wasn't really planning on it, but the platform that I was lifting on and the penlay bar, the penlay bar felt excellent. As you can see, just the combination of the, those two, it was, it was, it was definitely a good feeling. I just liked the way it felt. I liked the way I was, my body felt and how I was moving today too. Um, I always told myself that I didn't really ever want to go ahead and hit maximal loads if I didn't need to. Um, 
like I said in the last video, I believe. I'm, you know, a two, uh, 365 clean and a 275 snatch isn't really my priority right now. It's more kind of like how I feel, how I look, how I move in free space. But if it comes, it comes. And today, I, w I definitely had the drive to, um, you know, lift heavy weight. Um, decided to do, you know, just play around with the equipment. As you can see right here, I love doing. Back is basically my favorite um, body part to work. Um, I feel like my mind has a connection with my back more than any other muscle group. Definitely more than my legs, definitely more than my, my arms or even my, you know, my core. Um, just because, you know, I'm not really visualizing it, but I feel like I've created a great mind-muscle connection to it. It's something that I've been trying to focus a lot more these days is to, um, you know, just kind of connect, connect with each separate muscle group in order to train it better. Um, even even in partial ranges of motion along with full range of motion as long as I'm actually putting great amount of tension on it I don't have to use as, mu as much heavier weight as I used to um, I feel at this point I can get a lot more benefit out of you know going through you know moderate to light weight uh, increased intensity as long as I'm able to connect with it a lot better with my mind with contracting the muscle um, you know, with controlling the feel of it. I feel like the, uh, I am definitely doing a lot more work with the muscle groups that I'm training if, with lighter weight, plus, you know, a lot less damage to my joints and I, a lot more recovery time and in, in that way I could train a lot more often, which I've been doing recently. I've been training uh, maybe five, six days a week, um, not necessarily trying to kill myself, not trying to hit maximal loads, but I'm definitely seeing a decent amount if not great amount of gains funny thing is um, somebody was telling me the other day that you know I am looking a lot smaller and unless I'm wearing a tank top or you know something of that matter I do look like just a small person so I'm kind of worried about it I don't I definitely don't want to lose my gains look small or look like a pushover I'm um, definitely not weak you know I'm, I'm definitely not uh, I'm secure with my strength and all that and my abilities to throw weight around with the bigger guys but <laughs> it definitely got to me a little bit anyways that was uh, my workout today I had a definitely definitely had a great time here in Barbell Brigade Southern California Los Angeles look it up look it up on social media they have um, a YouTube channel Barton Geo I watch them all the time very very funny couple um, but anyways thanks thank you again for watching please do like subscribe share uh, if you can, and uh, help my little channel grow. Leave some questions in the bottom, and um, I will see you guys next time. Alright guys, lift something heavy. Peace out.